I know uh, we had to go through like uh, uh, so many layers of work to uh, get into this nurse role. Yeah. Like uh, we did threading, waxing, and I had to stop gymming actually because I was like uh, 75 almost when we started this look test, and I had to uh, shed down my weight. I went to 63 actually. <laughs> so we did eight look tests, and finally eight look test passed actually. Uh, so I had a picture in my mind that it's going to be like this and when I saw him it was a step ahead of that. So I felt really happy that uh, you know, the, he's pulled it out. So Anu, uh, this particular film must be having a lot of challenges for you uh, as a costume designer because the hero is playing a nurse for a large part of the film. So tell us in terms of uh, styling for him, designing the complete look, shopping for the fabrics, the clothes. Uh, tell us about the entire look, how much time went to it, how, well, how big a challenge was this for you? We've been working on this for more than a year. Okay. Extensive pre-production work. A lot of paperwork in terms of sketches, in terms of fabric. Choice uh, of fabric. Choice of fabric and okay. uh, homework, extensive uh, work. Meaning it's you can start from the fabric, it goes on to the buttons, the footwear, the stockings which will work on him. So we kind of put things together in the, the pre-production part, part of it. And then the color palette. The color palette is more when we sat with the cameraman, PC sir, to understand what exactly that he prefers for this entire look. So, and he preferred white, then which was makeup and the hair, and then we thought we'd give it a break and try bringing in a blue, mm -hmm. so uh, white and blue as a contrast. We've done different styles of nurse costumes and more than 15 to 20 nurse costumes and different variations. And uh, many ask me, uh, makeup man, who is the heroine? Heroine Garu Yavuru. And my makeup man said, uh, uh, Anushka's sister. And yeah, he said, oh, okay, okay, Anushka's sister Garu. I eat Gaudi. After watching me one full day, whole day, then only they recognized me. I'm a boy dressed as a girl. So uh, we felt very good. Okay, it's working. That's nice. That so all over, throughout the film, yeah. how many outfits did you stitch totally? I think I had more than, uh, say, about. Uh, uh, 40 outfits. Remo, for example, is a beautiful love story. It's a story of a boy next door. Remo is a sweet film like that with its own technical challenges. You know, you have a man in his uh, in in, uh, in a woman's attire, and I want uh, my job is to fit his own voice into his body and make sure make make the audience feel that okay he he is he works he is natural uh, and you have this famous scene is there with the Marilyn Monroe yeah. so the, the yeah. red dress yeah. and all. Yeah. tell me about that how did you arrive with that uh, that was a very cute uh, idea it was for a cute song sequence it comes for a small shot and uh, they were all very excited because it was a very sweet concept also to have this she was suddenly walking on the ramp with that Marilyn Monroe outfit and I got very excited, in fact, when I, the first time I was sitting in the discussion, when they were talking about it, also saying that, no, no, let's try something different. I thought it was fantastic. And it's a great challenge yeah, for a costume designer because this whole outfit is not for a female. If it's going to be for a female, you don't need to worry about the layering. You just have to make a single no, piece out there and it's, you're done with it. Now, the challenge is to get that outfit on Shivakartike, the red color. So we took samples first and then we showed it to PC sir for him to approve the right red that right he red. wanted. Yeah. Because everything goes with Shiva sir's skin tone. Okay. Because he's wearing that blonde wig out yeah, there. The yeah. Wig. So that red has to go more with the wig and the makeup and stuff. On shoot, I thought it was the cutest thing because once he got ready and he was out, everybody was like shocked to see him in that Merlin Monroe outfit because we were all we were so happy to see him look so comfortable. Um. <laughs> I've never been jealous of any girls till now and I have to say sittings with the director, the cameraman, the makeup artist. Tell us something about that to get the entire look in, you know, in perspective. But the goal was to get this look right, this female look right on him. And his patience was what actually made it very easy for all of us, for me, 
the harmony that we had, the fantastic teamwork, because you had Nikki, you had Rachel doing the hairstyle, you had Nikki doing the makeup, and we had my entire costume team sitting with him 24 7 because we're doing elaborate hair, hair trial, makeup trial, and then you had costume trial sessions, which are just not one outfit or five outfits in the box, it's like 10 to 16 at one shot. Oh, wow. And you have, it's very important, the artist, the actor needs to trust the designer. Mm. And you know, Shiva was extremely comfortable to work with. <laughs>